Hello, and welcome to another lessons mini-sode, mini-episode of the Conversations with Coaches podcast. Um, it's me, Kevin, <laughs> and this one, this one's come to me, uh, like so much of, so many of these lessons, it's something that clearly came to me a long time ago, but has revisited me recently in the form of a, of a conversation I was able to have with a coach. Um, let me try to explain it this way. One thing that uniquely positions a coach to be of tremendous service to their clients is what I think of as an unexpected combination of characteristics um, that turns a coach into what I sometimes call, or what I'm like, I'm kind of workshopping what to call it, but I sometimes call it the familiar stranger. Now you've, you've heard, you know, the, like the, that ability to talk to a stranger and tell, you know, a stranger, all your problems. And like, you have these unexpectedly, profoundly deep conversations with the people you barely know. I feel like most of us have had at least an experience like that before, where you were able to open up in ways to this new person in your life that you were not able to, or could not to people who you've known for years, maybe your entire life, your closest relationships, your family, your friends. Um, and there are a lot of reasons for that. <laughs> we don't have to get into things like uh, baggage or scars or calluses that might form up as relationships are longstanding. But for a couple, what I think of when I think of a coach and where I think a coach serves a, a very unique purpose, a very powerful purpose is that a coach through their experience, their skills, through their natural inclination towards service and empathy and connection and bridge building can come in to someone's life personally or professionally um, as something of a stranger, but a trusted stranger, a familiar stranger, somebody that knows how to connect with you, who's whose purpose, whose passion, whose point is to get to know you, to knows how to get to know you and ask you the questions that you need to be asked and then be there for the answers, to sit and listen as a familiar, a caring stranger. There's something, something very powerful about that almost, not, but not quite paradox, you know, something, something truly special that I think makes, it makes coaching so powerful and so good is that ability to move past maybe some of your own obstacles or obstacles that are placed between you and the closest people in your life um, and move into a conversation and a connection with someone who is functionally to you, a stranger, this coach has been brought in, either you've hired them or your company has brought them in, however they've come into your life. They're there, they're looking at you and they're asking you some interesting questions. Maybe they're simple, maybe they're complex, but they're asking you some questions and they're listening to your answers. And they're taking the time to get to know you and they're bringing you the safety and the distance of them being a stranger, but with the closeness that their empathy and their desire to serve and their skills can provide. It's a powerful combination. And I think it's, it's a way to speak to how important good coaching is in, I was going to say, your professional life, in your professional life, your personal life, your private life, in life period, good coaching can have a tremendous profound impact on who you are now how you see yourself and where you're going next so yeah think of it as the familiar stranger <laughs> so maybe don't think of yourself as the familiar stranger i'm not sure there may be a thousand different ways to say this to speak to this concept that will speak to you that will speak to your clients so anyway that has been my uh my thoughts on the familiar stranger that is a good coach. <laughs> Thank you for listening and indulging me in another uh, sl slightly extended analogy, but that I think nonetheless does does make a lot of sense. So you let me know if I'm if I'm off my rocker here, of course. Um, but thank you for listening, and I'll talk to you again soon.